Okay, greetings people. In this video I'm going to show you subdiv proxy and a particular error that you may get when you try to toggle between those two modes, those two meshes. <clears throat> okay, to start us off I need to apply a subdiv proxy on these because they are just two basic meshes. So, uh, and this guy is just a duplication of this with Lambert Shady applied to that. So, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna reset settings. Division 1 is going to be great. The only thing I'm going to change is to keep this shader instead of transparent. <coughs> now the most important thing is that you need to uh, check this box a toggle subdiv proxy so you'll be able to toggle between those two modes. Smooth that thing and go over here and smooth this guy as well. Great. So with the smooth proxy uh, applied and you have your mo mesh and everything, that's great. We want to toggle with this, and to toggle, you need to press the tilde key. The tilde key is the one just below escape, the one beside uh, left of one, the number one key below escape. <coughs> and you also need to be having uh, or using the English layout for a keyboard. If you have any other layout, <coughs> the tilde key may be placed someplace else on the keyboard, and you may have some kind of key combinations in order to get that. <coughs> And it may interfere with other hotkeys in Maya and stuff like that. So I always use the English layout when I use this, uh, when I use Maya. And with that, uh, I'm going to try to toggle now. And I can toggle. I'm going to get an error. It says that there is no proxy detected on this uh, sp uh, uh, smooth proxy group on this instructor shape uh, node. But you can see clearly that it has a proxy. So What's the what's the deal you say? What's why do you not work? Well, the thing is, <coughs> if I do this on this character with this Lambert one shader, this default shader, it will toggle just fine. And you don't bother me. Go away. <coughs> it will toggle just fine. the The reason why it won't toggle for th uh, this guy is this guy, this object, have several materials applied to him. If I go to hyper shade, for instance. <coughs> Go over here. I have taken like a few faces over here and applied a different material to that. And because of this, it has two shading groups for both of the materials. <coughs> and this toggle do not like the, that. Uh, it doesn't like several shading groups for some reason. <coughs> this guy only has one, the Lambert one shading group, and uh, this will toggle just fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if um, I want to apply a shader or material to this low resolution model after the fact that after I have applied this uh, uh, smooth proxy group, if I apply this guy, bright red, it will do just fine. And let's see now if I can toggle. Okay, I can toggle, but the proxy, the new, the high resolution mesh did not get that information. So you can apply things to the low resolution model after the fact, but keep in mind it won't transfer over to this high resolution mesh. <coughs> However, if you do that on the high resolution mes mesh, oh, okay, so you're thinking, let's apply the same thing over here. It's about over here that where I want it to be. Okay, great. And now you try to toggle to the lower resolution, and it's going to say, uh uh, you are ugly. You, you do not like, I don't want you to apply that thing. So basically, it doesn't like that. So I'm going to apply one shader. It doesn't matter which shader, I can just apply this one, and I'll be able to toggle as you can see. So basically it says it doesn't like several shading groups on one model. Keep it simple, keep it one, and then you can toggle just fine. One way to circumvent this is you have a UV layout on your character or your model, whatever it is. I have just created a very simple and <laughs> disgusting UV layout because I'm just using simple colors so it's going to do just fine for my purpose. Uh, and if I go over to just create a new Lambert. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I think I have it set up. Uh, or maybe I don't. Yeah, there it is, Lambert 3. Basically, uh, this is the Lambert, and I've attached a file node to that, to the color slot. And if I apply this to this character, actually, let's just do this. I need to throw out this uh, high resolution, or this shading group. I want to redo the whole thing. So, <coughs> now this guy just applied this material to him. It doesn't have a shading, the, a smooth proxy anymore. I deleted that, so let's reapply that smooth proxy. 
or a subdiv proxy. And now I'm gonna try to toggle and it toggles just fine because it still uses just one material or one shading group just with a texture that is saying, okay, this portion just say to have this color and stuff like that. <coughs> uh, however, just the reason why I'm saying, saying it only wants one shading group, you can have several materials applied to this, th to this uh, model, whatever you want. If you use a, a layered shader, for instance, and in here you can apply whatever materials you want to this. Basically it will still have uh, one shading group but several materials applied to this guy. Color 1 for instance and then this guy to color this guy. So it can have several materials but only one shading group. So keep that in mind. And that is basically it. It's at least what I, in my uh, tests and experiments, I've come that's my conclusion basically. And with that, uh, this video is uh, over and I hope you learned something and have a good day.